And today's news about Phillips came as a shock to some, including one of our photographers here at 23 ABC News who knew Phillips growing up. 23 ABC's James Johnson sat down and talked with his childhood friend today. 20 years ago, the Nebraska Cornhusker running back was on top of the world. He was a Heisman Trophy candidate, and his team was a national championship contender. A bizarre string of events uh, landed him in jail, his neighborhood friend saying he would uh, never have imagined this would happen. Looking left side now, wide open over there. From the football field to the courtroom, ex-NFL player Lawrence Phillips soon became known more for his legal run-ins with the law than his time on the football field. The Lawrence Phillips I knew was a football player, the star football player in high school, you know. In college, Phillips was arrested for assaulting his girlfriend. The following year, Phillips was drafted by the Rams but ran into trouble again when he was stopped for drunk driving. Henry Lopez grew up down the street from Phillips in West Covina. He was bouncing in and out of foster homes. His mom basically abandoned him as a kid, you know, so it's kind of like he had a lot of anger, you know, inside of him. Henry says that anger never went away. And once he started getting in trouble with the law, we're kind of just disappointed, you know. I always, uh, honestly, I always prayed that he had the right friends and families. Unfortunately, that didn't look like the case. In 97, Phillips was cut from the Rams and signed to Miami, who cut him after pleading no contest to misdemeanor battery and later pleading no contest to felony charges of assault and making terrorist threats and later arrested again for trying to run over three teens. Phyllis was set to go to trial for allegedly killing his cellmate in 2013. Lopez says he remembers Phillips as a good kid and hates to see how everything played out. Maybe he just felt, you know, he being going to be accused of murder, spend the rest of his life in prison. Maybe he felt he just didn't have no hope no more. It just looks like he just lost all hope, you know. Now that's just a portion of my sit-down interview with Henry. You can watch the entire interview on our website, turnit23.com. From the newsroom, James Johnson, 23ABC.